Hello, my name is Richard Zimler. I'm a novelist, and I want to talk to you today about the cover of my new book, The Incandescent Threads, as a way of discussing one of its important themes. As you can see, there's a portrait here. Uh, it was done 2,000 years ago in Egypt when it was controlled by the Romans. They're called Fayum portraits after the city where they were made. They were placed on top of coffins. Um, although we can't identify this person, uh, you can clearly see that this is probably one of the first realistic portraits in Western art history. Uh, we used it because one of the main characters in the book, Benny Zarco, um, suffers from what we call survivor's guilt. He wonders why he survived the Holocaust when so many millions of others didn't, including his parents. And he looks through books of Jewish mysticism to try to discover an answer. And in these books, he discovers that many Kabbalists believed in reincarnation. And he comes to believe that maybe he was from Alexandria, had a past life in Alexandria, when that city was the New York of the ancient world with great big boulevards, the lighthouse, and the famous library. And he even believes that he worked in the library, not as anything important. He used to clean it up. He was kind of janitor. Uh, but he felt it was great to be near so many, so many scrolls, so much learning. Um, and so we decided that we would use this portrait on the cover because it looks like Benny. You'll also notice that there's a Native American pictograph, uh, a bit of musical notation from a piece by Mazorsky, pictures from an exhibition, and the Jewish star Yuda that the Nazis made the Jews wear. There are specific reasons why all these are on the cover, uh, but I'll let you discover those when you read the novel. The Incandescent Threads. I hope you like it.